It's been crazy to wake up and have about 10 minutes to use the bathroom and then have the power go out was very unpleasant. How many days did they tell you to pack for? Three. Oh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea when we're going to be able to get back or when we're getting um, any information whatsoever. So. I'm concerned about food though because like, I don't have a meal plan. I'm cooking. So to move to a rec center and not have a kitchen, not have my food, I mean, who even knows what's going to happen to the food I have in the fridge here. It's been really stressful. <laughs> I haven't been able to open up my, my fridge because I don't want it to go bad. A little compensation would be nice just because we're going to throw out everything in our fridge and that's just might be over $300 worth of food because it's for my roommates. Compensation in some way would be nice. So that's, that's one of the other things that's funny. Rutgers emails out all these notifications about what we're supposed to be doing and it's like, we're in these apartments with no, no power and no Wi-Fi. How are we even supposed to be checking you? <laughs> I'm paying way too much for this. I mean, to live on a cot with 300 other students in a rec center is just unacceptable for the amount that we're paying for housing. Just came back on, but we still can't stay there. I just wish they put in the email what exactly the problem is to keep us more informed. <laughs>